She'll be fine. Are you sure? Trust me. She'll be fine. Okay. Thank you, doctor. You're welcome. Hello, who is this? Father, would you on the line? Oh, would you? How are you today? All is not well, Father. Choma is seriously sick in the hospital. Here she is, Father. I'm so sorry. I'm so glad you are here, Father. It's okay. It's okay. What is it? I'm in pain. I'm in so much pain. You have to pull yourself together, okay? Just pull yourself together. Take it easy, sir. Take it easy. Huh? After all these years, after all these years, Choma cost me a bit. Easy, 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 huh? easy, easy. Choma addresses me as a beast. Whatever she told you in there is all lies. And whatever she will tell you after now is all lies. What is happening? What is happening? Christ taught you to love your wife the way he loves the church. I love my wife. Everything I did, I did because I love my wife. And I am certainly not a beast. Children need you. No. You have to go home. Never. Not to that house. Just not to that man. <laughs> you know the whole world thinks I'm a very happy woman. That I have everything. They only knew. I've been very unhappy for a very long time. <laughs> the story is a long and sad one.
When I was much younger, I had a chance meeting with an old woman. Thank you so much, my daughter. You're welcome, Mama. Thank you. Oh. Mm. Um, Mama, is there anything else I can do for you? Yes. Please, spread my mat here. Thank you so much, my daughter. You're welcome, Mama. Um, Mama, I have to go now. My mother sent me to buy Kazi. Please sit down for only one minute. And let me tell you things that will surely be. Hmm? But they're calling me. My, my mother is waiting for me. Sit down. You'd be home before your mother has any need to come get our Kazi herself. Trust me. What is your name? My name is Norma. I see. So, are you a nurse doctor or a prophetess? I am an old woman who has dedicated the rest of her last years to God and to prayers. And he shows me things. What does he show you about me? The name you told me isn't your real name. Another name, name echoes in my ears. Your name is Chioma. Wow, I thought you would not know. Everything lays bare before me. Because the spirit of the living God dwells in me. So what other things does it show you about me? I see a worldly life ahead of you. I see you getting married to a man in whose hands fortune will land. Your husband is going to be a rich man. And the two of you are going to have plenty of children. But... You will spend the rest of your life in sorrowful pursuit of happiness. <laughs> <laughs> and what causes your amusement? You, of course. You told me that I'm going to marry a rich man. I have plenty of children. But I'm an unhappy woman. How is that possible? There are winds that blow away when we least expect them, my child. Sometimes, these winds cause to the fury of a hurricane. At other times, these winds barely fan one's cheek. But the winds must blow, bringing as they often do, Tears and sorrows that last longer than even time itself.
It's alright, I will kill off. Ah, it's okay. I'm probably the only one in the whole world who is still asleep. <laughs> Stop cracking my ribs. <laughs> what time is it? It's about uh, some minutes tonight. Really? Oh, okay, I should get going then. I want to go to the salon downstairs and do my hair. What? The salon, I want to go and do my hair. Wait. Sit down. I, I, I don't know. Seventy percent of the workers in that salon are men. But what does that even mean? I just want to go and do my hair. Just sit down. Let's enjoy our honeymoon. Don't forget about this. Nail soap opera. Okay. I did was to protect you from some predators who call themselves hairstylists. Isn't that what a loving husband is supposed to do? Well, come on, baby. I'm only trying to protect you, okay? Please, please, please. please. Are you there? Chuba? Chi? Chi, are you there? Chama 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 Joe, you think I don't know how to iron? Eh? I started ironing before way, you went. Go, go away, go away. I know how to do it. <laughs> Are you laughing at me? No, no, no. Just imagine when a guy comes now with this way. Look at it. Oh, hey, honey. What is going on here? I just had to get Cletus off the table because I wanted to iron your clothes myself. Ironing rubbish. You left my bed to come hang around some corners with a house help? What? 
What did you just say? Are you suspecting me of something? I pay this young man very well to do my laundry. I want you to stay away from him and any other servant in this house. Did you hear that? And you idiot, stay away from my wife. Shut up. Shut up. Trying don't, to... Don't try to tell me anything. Oh, 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 oh. As he slept that night, I had so many questions. The same questions I would later ask with increased regularity. Is this love? Is this what love is? Is love synonymous with overprotection? Is love synonymous with obsession and downright jealousy? I needed answers. I had to talk to someone. I had to find a way to control this insanity before it got worse. You know, it breaks my heart to see you cry like this. It is the duty of a husband to protect his wife. Protection. You call this protection? You have literally turned me into a prisoner in my own home. And you call it protection. For almost two months, I haven't even stepped outside that gate. And you call it protection. I have not seen my best friend since we got married. And you call it protection? No, if I... No! This is not protection. This is imprisonment. If I... This is not the life I want to live as a married woman. Give me some breathing space, please. What do you want? I want to see my best friend. Please. Okay. I will let you see her. Really? Kiki, man. Thank you very much. How are you? Good, good, good. We are good. Yeah, she's good. She's good. She's actually the reason I'm calling. She misses you so greatly. Uh, come on. Honeymoon has been over for how long? <laughs> you won't be disrupted anything. Yeah. Yeah, just come back, please. All right. Thank you, darling. Oh, thanks. Yeah, your friend will be here first thing tomorrow morning. If I... If I, please, now, I want to go out, please. Now sit your ass down here. There are wolves out there. And I'm trying to protect you from them. Can't you understand?
He doesn't let me do anything. He doesn't let me touch anything. He doesn't even let me go anywhere. Would you please? Please, you have to help me talk to my husband. I'm going crazy. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> What's so funny? Why are you laughing? Oh, come on, G. You sounded on the phone like you were in so much trouble. But I am. I am. What are you saying? When has a man's love and protection become so much trouble? Oh, you, you don't get it. I've been imprisoned by my husband. Oh, will you stop this rubbish already, Choma? What sort of rubbish is this? Do you have any idea how many women out there desire for their husbands to love and protect them like he finally does? Oh, this is not love. This is not love. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. The Ifani I know loves you. I mean, from the moment he met you, I have watched as he has jealously been all over you. Choma, why do you want to blame God for blessing you? Huh? God has given you a man who queens would kill for. She doesn't get it. Nobody understands. No, but I get it completely. Listen, my dear. You will get used to it, okay? Ifani is your husband. I'm not your boyfriend. And as such, he owns you. Yes. With all that you have and all that you are, Please. No, would you, would you please listen? You don't, you don't. Shh. Don't worry, you'll be fine, okay? Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. Come on now. Hmm? <laughs> Christmas must have come early for me this year. Oh, come off you, honey. You know I'm always excited whenever you come home. Mm. What's cooking? Uh, I'm just trying to whip something up. Why don't you change into something casual and come on then? Sounds wonderful. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll be right back. bounty we're about to take and provide for this our Lord in Jesus name. Yeah. Wow. This is some sumptuous meal we both made here. Hmm. Yes, I was part of the cooking. The only thing you did was to help me wash the plates and some of the things I used for cooking. I did this cooking myself. Well, it's still part of the cooking. <laughs> you are responsible for the clean plates and that is as far as it goes. I deserve the credit for this food. Yes, my love. I have 
to be used. Really? Let's hear it. I, I got a job. It's an accounting firm. I applied for the job just a few weeks before the government. in the morning and come back in the evening and contribute towards supporting this family, please. like this. Come on. I got something good for you. I got some good things for you. Good things. You will love them. Check it out. Hollandis, Dorica, George, you name it. Something good. I got it. You know what? I know, I know good things when I see them. Check it out. This is what women of honor put on. Not those naked mommy water dress and all bunch of hair. Check it out. It's beautiful.
don't have to always cry, my love. I hate to see you in tears. You do? You hate to see me in tears, yet you pierce a knife through my soul. Couldn't possibly do that, my love. I'm not your love. This is not love. This is imprisonment. I want my freedom if I need. You're already free, Chioma. I'm not. You're already free. I'm not. The world has conjured up wrong definitions of freedom. Freedom is not a license to do whatever the heart desires. Freedom is not what the world tells us it is. It comes with a burden. This is not the life I want. This is not the life I dreamt about as a child. If I... I'm a graduate. I'm a trained accountant with a master's degree. Thanks for reminding me. I almost forgot, you know. Why are you tormenting me, my husband? I am not tormenting you. What have I done to deserve this torture? All right. All right. Let me ask you. How much is accounting firm offering to pay you? A hundred thousand naira. What is that? For a week or month? For a month. All right. Let's do it this way. What if I pay you 250,000 naira a month to be home and be my wife? No. No? No. If I know. No. A hundred and fifty percent increase, and you say no? I want to work! You know, there, there's something else you have in the back of your mind. A hundred and fifty percent increase, and you say no? I'm suspecting you. Of my wife. Ah, wait a minute. Ah, 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 wait a ah, Wait a minute. Ah, ah. This is all nonsense. Hey! Chema! Wonderful. This is why you were insisting I should not come to the market with you. You were pressing I should not come anywhere here so you can frolic with your lovers, right? Lover? Chema, you did not see any other person in this world. Is it a tomato seller? In any part of the world, I have not heard that a man said tomato. It's only women. Even, even in America, I've not heard. So, you have gotten to the level of tomato seller. Hey! You! Fine. Come back here. Oh, fine. Come here. Oh, you're 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 fine. Get in. I'm not getting in. I'm, 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 sorry, sorry. You know me. Now get in. To yourself is called false imprisonment. Shema, you release yourself from this prison. Free yourself, please.
Please, God, send me a taxi, please. He must not meet me here and take me back home, God, please. Thank you, Lord. Hi. Can I come in? Sure. Where, madam? Anywhere. Everywhere. Uh, uh, madam, there are tears in your eyes. No, I'm fine. Just go. But, go. madam, you are crying. Shut up and drive! I'm sorry. my wife? Sir? Where is my wife? Where is my wife? You recalcitrant idiot. Where is my wife? Where's my wife? Sir? Where's my wife? I don't know, sir. I gave you instructions, not allow her out of this compound. Are you listening? Sir? I gave you instructions, not allow her out of this compound. Are you laying there like a lump of wood, slumbering and sleeping until she slipped out? Where is he? I'm very sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Did I pay you to, to come, come out here and sleep? No. Is that what I pay you for? Yes, sir. No, sir. Is that, is that what I pay, pay you for? No, sir. Come, come here and sleep? Huh? Is that what I pay you for? I'm sorry, sir. Huh? I'm sorry, sir. Huh? Now evil spirit and have or die with Which can evil spirit? As I said. Look, madam, I need to know where we are going. We have been driving round and round now without no specific stopping place. Look, look at my foil. My foil has gone down already. Other passengers are waiting for me, and you are yet to say a word to me. <laughs> Maybe you should just tell me where you want to go, and I could just drive down there. Okay. Madam, what is the problem now? Is it a security challenge? Should I take you to the police station? Look, 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 madam, you have been crying ever since you entered my car. Ah, if crying can solve your problems, whatever your problem is, don't you think it will be solved by now? <sighs> madam, you have to stop crying. Tears cannot solve your problems. That, that's much better. Much better, see? Are you okay? See? At least now you're smiling. You're smiling, which is good. You have a way with words. I'm just doing what I have to do. Huh? Look. Sometimes, there are moments in life when all we need to do is just have somebody to talk to. I've been there before. So tell me, where do I take you to? Wherever. Wherever. Anywhere still. Okay.
Finally. <laughs> the beach? Yes. It's a cool place, right? Hmm. When life knocks me down last year, this is where I always come to hide. Come. Come. Oh, sorry. Be careful. Thank you. Yeah. Sometimes I, I'll sit here silently. And other times I just, I cry profusely. Sometimes the sun will hit me so hard. <laughs> and other times it rains. And when it rains, I'm still here and it pours down so hard on me. I just sit here. But this, this was my resting place. This is where I found shelter in my uncommon grief. And I also drew strength towards my tested fate. Anyway, my, my name is Alex Obanikoro. I'm a civil engineer turned taxi driver. What? Yeah, although I'm still believing that God would give me a job, or, you know, I haven't lost hope. I have four siblings, and I'm the first out of all of us. You haven't told me anything about you, madam. The only thing I know is that you're a woman of extraordinary beauty. I have to go. Sir, did, did I say something wrong? No. No, you didn't say anything wrong. I just have to go. Hey, but you haven't told me your name. My name is Choma Obi. Can we go now? Wait. Stop. Huh? I said stop. Oh, okay. So, is your house around here? One of these houses is mine, but you don't need to know which one exactly. Oh. No, I don't. Good. Good. So, tell me, how much is my bill? Oh, no. Don't bother, madam. There you go. That uh, should cover no. your fuel and your time. No, madam, don't worry. Just go. I insist you take it. Well, I insist you keep it. I insist you take it. <laughs> What's so funny? Well, nothing, ma. Sorry, ma. I don't need you to be sorry. I need you to take the money. 
Okay. I'll take it. On one condition, though. What condition is that? You take my phone number and my PIN number. And then you promise to call me if you ever need to talk to somebody. Cool? Okay then. So you take care of yourself, okay? I won't. All right. Bye. Bye. So Joe, are you telling me she's not at your place? Are you haven't seen her all through today? Sure? Thank you. Damn you women. Damn all of you. Take it easy, Efex. What did you just say? I haven't seen my wife all day. She's in one dark corner with one stupid idiot and you. He's standing here telling me to take it easy. Listen, your wife is not in the arms of any man, okay? How would you know that? Come off it, Ifex. Since when did it become a crime for a woman to go out? It's not sacrilege. Damn you, Kachuko. Damn you. Damn you too. Damn you. Now get out of here, man. Now friend. get out. Get out. Where are you coming from? Did you return with deafness? I went out. And where did you go to? Anywhere. Everywhere. What? What? <laughs> Stop it! Come on! Come on! Stop it! Come on! Now get your hands off me! Oh, come on! Get your hands off! Stop this madness! You? You went out without my permission? Alright. When Katsuku goes, you come back in here. Idiot. Effects! Baby. Baby, please. I'm very sorry for what happened yesterday. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I promise you it will never happen again. Baby, please forgive me. If those hands come anywhere close to me, I swear to God, I will break them to pieces. Get out of here right now. Baby, please. I'm... Don't push me. Before you hurt yourself. But crying seems to make me feel better. No, not at all. 
crying can only make you feel bitter. <laughs> you see, bitterness cannot get you anything. There is only one thing that can make you get better. And that is talking to someone. That you will take my phone number and BB pin and talk to me if you ever need someone to talk to. I need to go back to my duty. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Clayton. Thank you, Mom. I am online, and you are online too. But none of us wants to be the first to say hello. Because pride is also online. Hello, Alex. This has nothing to do with pride. I just don't know where to start. Oh, really? You should have started with a hello. Yes, I should have started with a hello. So, how are you today? I'm just here. Still crying to God to give me back all that life has taken from me. Mm. Ever since I met you, your words have always been draped in sorrows. Because I'm a woman of a sorrowful heart, sorrow seems to know me by name. You want to tell me exactly what you're going through? Time will fill me to tell it, Alex. Because I'm going through everything. Hmm. Maybe I can help you. Maybe you can't help me. Hmm. It's a thorn, Alex. A thorn in my flesh. And what is this thorn? My husband. You're married? You're a married woman? Hello? I've been wearing a ring since we met, Alex. Yes, I'm married. Unhappily married. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye bye. Hello, Mrs. Somebody. I am Mrs. Ifani Obi. But Ifani Obi is somebody, isn't he? <laughs> Don't start. <laughs> anyway, how are you today? I'm still standing. That's good to hear. Sounds like music in my ears. Thank you. You're welcome, dear. Hello? I am not your dear. Okay. I'll try not to forget that. Good. Do you love him? Excuse me? I didn't type those words in Arabic. Of course I love my husband. Why then do you describe him as a thorn? Because he's a beast. What? I didn't type those words in Arabic. Your hands are already tired of typing? All the hands are willing, but the words are in short supply. Why would a woman call her own husband a beast? What would you have a woman call her beastly husband? An angel? Tell me about him. He's my greatest mistake. My worst nightmare. My pleasure my pain. He's the only person I pray never to encounter again if there's actually another life after this one. What? I feel like I'm drowning in the ocean, Alex. I feel like I'm missing. 
and nobody's listening. See where love has brought me. Love has caused me so much pain. Pain that runs too deep. for being here for me, Alex. You've become the light that brightens my darkest moments. Made the hairs at the back of my neck stand up yesterday. So much bitterness. So much hate. So much malice. I don't want to talk about him. But you have to. You can't bottle this all up and grapple with it all by yourself. No. Alex... Everything has been determined. The beginning of our lives as well as the end have been determined by a force over which we have no control. This is destiny. This is fate. We all dance to a mysterious tuning toned in the distance by an invisible piper. I told you so. An old woman I met when I was a growing girl. Hmm. Yes. Everything I'm going through today, she predicted years ago. The second greatest mistake I ever made, the first being my marriage to you, fine, was not asking the old woman how I was to end the pain when the time came. Chioma. Yes. I'd like for you and I to see. Hello? Hello, are you there? Hi. Hi. You should sit. You should stop this, Alex. Huh? I'm married. We should stop this. I'm floating here, Choma. We should stop what? We should stop whatever it is we are doing. But we're not doing anything. We're, we're only chatting. Then we should stop chatting. I love my husband, Alex. But does he love you? It doesn't matter. It doesn't? Goodbye, Alex. Chima, no, don't, don't do this now. Let's not part ways like no, this. No, no. Stay away from me, Alex. Just stay away from me. I'm married. Want you never to set your foot out of that house. Have I not? Huh? Have I not? Please, please, now we are on the road. Uh, so what? We are on the road. Let's go and wash huh? our dirty linen. Uh, so let's, what? Let's not wash our. 
What is all this now? Eh? What is all this? What is all this rubbish? Even on the road? Eh? If I on the road. Let, oh, leave me alone. If I was on this rubbish, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'll trip you. If I Oh God. If I leave me. Get in Mrs. Obi, you should forgive your husband. You know I have given him a stern warning. And he has promised never to lay a finger on you again. Especially now that we're having a baby. What did you say? <laughs> oh yes, Mrs. Obi. You are six weeks pregnant. Please. Forgive me. Please forgive me. If only for my sake. Please. is the way of life. But to part and meet again is the hope of life. This will be my last conversation with you. I am pregnant again and I am still unhappy. My hope is that the coming of this baby will change my husband, change my marriage, and change my life. Knowing you has been a blessing, but I choose to end it all now. Even now that I'm still unhappy, now that happiness still seems to elude me, now that I don't know what lies ahead of me, now that I sit in the car, being driven home from the hospital by my nightmare of a husband. Let me share a little secret with you. I was beginning to fall in love with you, Alex. Goodbye. I love you very much. Thanks for making me a happy man. And thanks for making me an unhappy man. Let's put all our quarrels behind us, okay? We're going to be having a baby, you know. And I'm going to be losing my dream job, you know. <laughs> oh, it's funny to you. Oh, no. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, let's do it this way. Try and be a happy woman. Once you deliver this baby, you go get a job. Hmm? Yeah. Eh? Huh? Mm-hmm. Once you deliver the child, the child starts school. Then you just go be that career woman you've always wanted to be. I could even help you get a job. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm a nice guy, you know. I'm a nice guy. Thank you. Thank you. I know you've always wanted to be a car so you. just go ahead, Thank okay? You. Be happy. This early morning dressed like a bank manager. Oh, I have two interviews today. Remember, I told you last week. I thought we agreed that after I give birth, I could go ahead and get my job. Our baby started school last week. So now can I go ahead and get my job? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. I have to go. You may order some more, please. Baby, what do you need? You're in the bed. You look so beautiful this morning. Yes, I know, but I have to go. Remember, two interviews. I'm going to be late if I don't go now. Job, a bigger and a better job. Wow. 250,000 naira a month, an official car and a driver. Wow. I'm so happy. This is good news. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's... Are you alright? I'm fine. I've just. I've been feeling nauseous for some days now. <laughs> Maybe you should see a doctor. Congrats, Mr. and Mrs. Obi. Mrs. Obi, you're five weeks pregnant. What? Yes. And um, this is the result. Although I knew I may never meet Alex here, still, I came. Like Alex did, I came here to seek shelter from my uncommon grief. And to draw strength towards my tested faith. I'm a broken-hearted woman. 
who will deliver me from this great tribulation? And here I was once again, pregnant with a child, but also pregnant with unhappiness, pain and frustration. I had lost the job again. See what's into here why you say I should wait. Um, I'm tired. I'm too tired. What do you mean you're tired? Yeah, I don't know you to be a stammerer. Um, I'm, I'm just not in the mood for sex. That's what you said last night. Okay, let's do it tomorrow. Don't forget that. Today is that tomorrow you talked about yesterday? Um, I know. <laughs> Honey, I know. It's just that. Um, hey, come on, let's make love, okay? Honey, um, wait, wait, wait. Hey, Robert. Uh, wait. Hey. Honey, hey. mm. mm. wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> Relax, Choma. Your period is late, but you're not pregnant. You can't be pregnant. Just relax, okay? Listen, um, if I, you have to take it easy on your wife. <laughs> take it easy on my wife. What do you mean, take it easy on my wife? You can't um, keep getting your wife pregnant every year. Do you realize that we have a dwindling economy in this country now? <laughs> when did you become a financial expert? Oh, come on. Don't stylishly shift the topic of this discussion. You see, you have to stop this madness. Kachibu, it's my family and my wife and my life we're talking about. And I am your friend. And as your friend, I'm a part of this family and this life of yours. Oh, please. Spare me this friendship rubbish. Come on. You want me to allow my wife to go out there and frolic with those predators, those idiots, and you call yourself a friend? Oh. Oh. <laughs> so this is the reason why you get your wife pregnant every now and then? To ward men off her? It is my duty to preserve my wife. To get her pregnant every now and then? No, oh, come on. My wife gets pregnant yearly, not every now and then. Don't insult me. I went to college for goodness. Yeah, but it's not right. It's not right. Listen, Gajiku, I am not God who gives children. Besides, my church is against the use of contraceptives. And our church also teaches natural ways of Family planning. Or oh, have you forgotten? Oh, no. Okay. Natural family planning on the one easy. <laughs> you know what? Tell me. You are a case. A real case. And what are you? Your best friend. You can't be. 
Are you sure you really want to do this? Dr. Becky, please, you have to help me. You have to save me. Please. Family planning cannot be done without your husband's consent. Why do you want to stop having children? Because I have a life to live, Doctor. I have dreams and aspirations that go beyond getting pregnant and having a baby every year. I'm a master's degree holder, doctor. I want more out of life. Doctor, please. You have to do something. Anything. Just something that will prevent me from ever getting pregnant again. Doctor, please help me. Okay, I think there's something I can do. Really? What? IUD. IUD? Intrauterine device. It's a device inserted into the uterus. With that, the chances of getting pregnant are eliminated. Thank you. Just make the money available and the process will be faster. Thank you very much. No. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. Good morning, Madam. Good morning. Mrs. Chimudu, right? Yes. Well, uh, manager requests to see you right away. Oh, okay. I should come with you. Come. come in. Good morning, sir. Morning. Sir, I uh, brought the new account out as a uh, instructed, sir. So it's the same Choma Obi. Is this really you? This is me. In flesh and blood. Come here. Good to see you. I used to be a taxi driver. Wow. <laughs> thank you, thank you, you can go. So sit down. So, Hannah's coming back here and make you feel. Nostalgic? It has this feeling of deja vu to it. You used to look as beautiful as ever, right? Easy with the flattery, Alex. <laughs> I'm not flattering you. Yo, yeah, whatever it is, just stop it. I'm being serious. <laughs> what happened? What happened where? In your life. I mean, the last time I saw you, you were driving me around in a taxi. And now I'm employed to work in a company with you as my general manager. Well, let's say change happened. Okay? Yeah. Things happen. I mean, call it the turn of tables, or a return of fortune, or better still, you could call it the, the rags to riches story. <laughs> okay? I told you I was well educated, right? You did. I got this job about seven years ago, and at the time, I was just the contract staff. Really? Yeah. Well, it came in with my tireless work ethics. And some people noticed me in the company. Promotions start coming from time to time. And before I knew it, I was given the company to run. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> but you. What? You, you just vanished. Yeah. You kicked me out of your life without... You disappeared without a trace. Well, things weren't like they seemed, Alex. You went out like the wind, Choma. At the time when I needed you the most. I was married. That's a fact that wouldn't sink into your head. So you left me with no option. Mm -hmm. That's past now, right? Anyway, how was your husband? 
Wait. Did the you, marriage. Did you, did you stay or did you leave? Which one? I stayed. You did? Wow. So what's the current situation? I found happiness at last. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Thank you. And you? Me? Mm-hmm. I found happiness too. Really? I'm married now. With a daughter. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's so good to hear. But then... If wishes were horses, you would have been that woman. I'm sorry, I, I I have to go now. Okay. Can I hug you? Come on, it's just the general manager to the, and the chief accountant's hug. We're friends now, right? And you're stuck with me. I'm your boss. Come here. We're friends. To me, what's wrong? Hey. Is everything okay? Everything is not okay at all. What is happening? The same question I have been waiting for you to wake up and answer. Me? Yes, you. Huh? How? The year is fast coming to an end. Why are you not pregnant? Do you want us to discuss this matter this night? Or are you going to give me an answer tomorrow morning? No, look at me, look at me. Don't look away. Look at me. Are you not pregnant? Well, Mr. V, there's absolutely nothing wrong with your wife. There's nothing wrong with her? Yes. Then why hasn't she been able to take him for a long while now? You need to be patient, sir. As much as I believe in science, I also believe that God has an upper hand in conception. Mm. Yes, come in. Hello. Sir. Oh, Chioma. I was just calling your office. Oh, you had the files you asked for. Yeah? I thought you'd have gone to lunch. Uh, no, I'm still here. Mrs. Walkaholic. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting ready to go to lunch. Would you like to come with me? Um, okay. All right, then. Let's meet by my car. I'll be there in five minutes. Okay. All right. I'll get my bag. Sure. <laughs> No different shrooks, the men don't like it. No, I love it. 
You have to see <laughs> how wealthy and how strong I am. I'm looking at my woman and see how wealthy. So, well, you spend a lot of money on everything. If I had a million, I'll spend five hundred. Really? Hmm. That is so cool. This is this is my, my manager from work, um, Alex. This is my, my husband. Oh, how do you do, sir? Join us. Oh, sir, 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 now get me behind me, sitter. Mistakes as a husband. As a child growing up, I, I saw firsthand a man struggling to come to terms with issues. Inkechi? Yes, Nai. Inkechi? Yes, Nai. What's happening around here? Uh, 
What do you mean what is happening here? What is Obia doing in my house? Lying. Obia is here to assist me. He came to help me fetch, uh, to fetch water. You know the house trust in this house are too much for me to handle. So I hired him to come help me fetch water. Greetings, Nai. Keep your greetings. Get out of my house this minute. Ah, no, Obira stays. He's here to assist me, Nai. Hey, don't be rude to someone. Get like out! Me. Out! No, Obira, come back here. Nai, he stays. He came here to assist me. What? Do I hear you well? Nai. Nai, Obira, oh yeah, go, go. Fetch what I paid you to do. Nai, he just came here to assist me. Eh? Inkeji? Inkeji? Why? 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 by the vastness of eternity. I wanted to leave a legacy different from what my father left. I wanted people to know how bravely I fought over my life and marriage and how Fiercely, I love my wife. That was not love. If I... That wasn't love. My father never loved my mother like that. Now I know better. True love is not forced. It happens smoothly. True love is not chained. flows freely. True love is not what you take. It is given. This is my story. The story of a man who was trying to hide and protect something that was always safe. Jim, I love you. With you. That's okay. Yeah, I'll be back soon. Hmm. Don't miss me too much. You know I'll miss you, so <laughs> just only say that. See you All right. later. Have fun there. I will. Okay. Bye. Thank you, dear. Who this 